Hi guys, welcome back. I got to visit the Dutch Grand Prix Formula One race. First, um, I went with my friend Chloe, who was invited to do a meet and greet with Lewis Hamilton. So we went to the Tommy uh, Hilfiger headquarters here in Amsterdam. And I couldn't meet him, but I was there to support her. The studio had to block you out. They banned you, Lewis. <laughs> Finally. It was, it was black flags from, from them. We've let him back in to the race. Lewis, thank you so much for joining us. We've got some mega fans here with Tommy with us. And uh, finally, uh, great to have you on the line. The interview took place online because of COVID, and Lewis was already in Sandford at the circuit. And, um, well, five people, huge fans, they could all uh, do a meet and greet and ask a question. Um, to Lewis and he answered and he was well, he seemed like a very cool person Much 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 later after that um, we took a drive to Zandvoort so that's Not very far from Amsterdam and then um, we, we actually arrived pretty late So it was already dark and we slept in a big tent next morning very different from hotels and it was so cold at night so I didn't sleep at all and you could hear everyone breathing and just snoring but we survived that and the next morning we had breakfast okay breakfast at our tent our um earlier stay what do you call it hotel <laughs> yeah it's a hotel camping tent and uh, breakfast outside yes. in the Sun dunes with all the, all the sunshine well, awesome. we have arrived we have arrived Later on we had our first shift, so we were volunteering there, so we actually did have to do some work. The entrance was accessible, they built like a small ramp so you could ride it. The fan zone, there was... There were like all kinds of activities there to do. I'm not sure if they were all accessible, I didn't check because well, we have things to do. Okay, so in the background you can hear the Formula One cars. We need to put uh, plugs in here soon as we're getting closer. Later. And this is the, it's a stage from Unperked Face from Handicap and Hell. This is the restaurant. You can go to the have a little bit of a rest. And you can relax from the Silent Disco as you meditate. Relax music from the DJ will listen. Best of luck to They had like a deck, especially for people who just you know want to chill a bit because you're in such a big crowd all the whole time. And it's very exhausting. So they had like a chill area, which also had like um, a silent disco. So you could put on the headphones and just or relax or listen to music or listen to the race. So it was cool to see that, that they set that all up. And I hope they will do this on all the events. And it's very necessary to protect your ears. Nice. 
24 hours later. Next day. Competition, the Formula One race. Um, it was exciting to see. It was 72 laps. Because you're so close to the track, you just you're just like that. It's the <laughs> these cars are so fast. Two hours later. So the Dutch champion, Max Verstappen, he won uh, the race and Lewis was on his tail and it was, yeah, it was like goosebumps, it was cool. And we were so close to the track that we could also feel like the rubber burning, like, the heat. And it was such a beautiful day, people were like all dressed in orange, so many people. And there was like this Dutch spirit there, so it was cool to experience. <laughs> At the end of the day, we went back with our taxi to this camping and it's like 20 minutes drive, I think. And then we had time to rest. But again, there was a lot of noise, a lot of music at the camping site and there were a lot of people there. So it were those were horrible nights. Would I recommend someone with a disability, like myself, being a wheelchair user, to visit the Formula One? Uh, if you like cars, definitely do that. But do ch check the um, accessibility, because I don't know if it's the same in other countries where the Formula One event is being held. I hope they all become fully accessible. And I'm sure that the organization... No, I'm not sure. I hope the organization is working on that. And well, their hashtag is we race as one, and that also includes diversity and inclusion. So, I mean, there's a lot of room to improve still. So, I hope in the next few years 
it will become more and more accessible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was my Formula One experience, the first time ever. And wishing you all the best and see you in the next video.